Hey, 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 what's up Rollercoaster Tycoon fans, Marcel hier en welcome to another episode of Marcel Plays! How are you all doing? <laughs> and thank you for the gifted sub, Slime. Oh no, the AI has taken over. It has. I am a computer. <laughs> now, what last week's video was fun. There were a few people who didn't like it and were apparently concerned I would actually become an AI generated channel or you know, something like that. <laughs> but yeah, have you all had a good weekend? A good week? A good whatever? <laughs> it was so bad I loved it. Yeah, it was actually really bad. Well, the interesting thing is a lot of the stuff there, all the info, is somewhat true, but it's very generic. And then it just throws out, don't be afraid to use custom scenery items, which is a really good tip. Also, we already have a raid. <laughs> That's quick. Welcome, Sammy Squid and your raiders. I am still doing my intro, <laughs> so you're right on time, I suppose. <laughs> We're, uh, well, as you can see, we're playing a bit of uh, Rollercoaster Tycoon today. 
Marcel is famous for using a lot of scenery items. Well, I've made some videos about them. I've made videos about using custom scenery items. At least one where I've probably mentioned them, I think. <laughs> but uh, what were you playing, Sammy? Also Roller Ghost Tycoon or something else? Anyway, uh, let's get started. Because today I thought it would be fun to do Gravity Gardens while only using gravity to power the coasters. Now, this is going to be ridiculous. Absolutely, you know, batshit ridiculous. But it's gonna be funny. Because <laughs> um, you can actually gain speed. You finished Octagon Park. Well done. You know what? I'll keep this coaster around. Because I haven't built that. We might delete it later. But for now I'll keep it around. So we can charge a bit for this. So only coasters with corkscrews. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. So I'm going to keep all the path around to make it a little bit more difficult. And interesting. Also thank you for the 100 bits, Philly X20. Um... Let's start with a corkscrew. And obviously we need to start a bit high up. So we can do this. Will we have enough space for the half? No, we won't. Actually, you know what we can do? We can do that. Only then we don't have enough space. Hang on. I can obviously just start here. Um, can it even... No, it won't be able to make that hill. But it will be able to make this hill. Just by being pushed out of the station. And then we'll do a corkscrew. And then we'll do a half loop. Then we have gained speed, believe it or not. Name a ride of your choice. Well, that's quick. Well, I'll have fun naming this. And then we'll go up to 9 meters again. And we'll gain more speed. That's how that works. I just finished binging your 146 scenario stream. Good game six months later. Well, thank you. Let's see. It just barely made that. It doesn't make... Am I doing this the wrong way around? I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I'm doing this the wrong way around. <laughs> you need the half loop first. My bad. Well, that's no problem. We'll just do this then. And then a half loop. And then a corkscrew. And then another half loop. And then another corkscrew. And then we're already able to go over the station. Quite easily, actually. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Gravitational corkscrew. Yeah, pretty much. And there we go. Another half loop. Now, I don't know if this is actually a good idea. If there's, like... If we'll, if we'll actually... Pass the scenario. <laughs> I mean, there's no way to fill this scenario. Because there's no deadline, but... Unless you, you know, unless you're financially totally ruined. But it can, of course, still be a massive challenge. Oh, name it Gravitational Corkscrew. Yes. I shall do that. Gravitational Corkscrew. There we go. And let's get back to the station. Uh, one more. Um, and... Now, wait a minute. If we just do that... 
There we go. Let's make some more money. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not good. That's not good. No, no, no. That's what we want. And let me repair that little bit of path. Good. Now. Entrance. Exit. Test. Awesome. Is 69 already in the park? Probably. Well, no. They've already left. You start off with some guests. You don't, you don't start at zero in this park. Think of what it was. Sammy Squid and Chaos. And then... Oh, no. That doesn't want to work. Ah, voila. And you too, Shadow Spark. Thank you for following. And let's make this brown. Let's connect this. There we go. Isn't that wonderful? You ate too much. Well, it's a good time to chill out a bit then. Okay, let's charge 40. Okay, this guy comes with 50. I want to know what the minimum is they come in with. I believe it's 40. 70, 50, 60, 80. Now it's 50 now. Now, we won't get a lot of guests yet, but I want to get the maximum from our guests. So I don't want the poor coming in and only paying 20 or something. Watching your videos made me play RST for the first time in probably over a decade. Well, I hope you're enjoying it. Okay, do we have a cash machine? We do. Good. No stalls for us. I want them to leave as quickly as possible. Um, I will, of course, have mechanics. And none of this nonsense. But we need to make money. I don't care about the number of guests. Hey, is there still... Ah. There we go. I want the number of guests to be as low as possible. Because... The fewer guests we have, the faster they leave, and the faster we can get new ones. Now we can, of course, make our rides a little bit simpler. For example, we can do something like this. Um, hang on. That. And then a loop. Um, and then some cash. There we go. Um, hang on, this isn't, okay, just do it like that. Nope, that's still one too high. Ah, that's perfect. This should make it, I think. Let's see. Starts by going down. Well, isn't that a disappointment? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Alright, let's build the station a little bit higher. And try again. This time, we'll do two big turns. And then we'll go back like this. Now, the good thing about this final um, ascent is that it doesn't actually need to fully make it. It just needs to reach the station. And I just hope that it will. Okay, it at least makes that. Come on! Yes! <laughs> oh, this can go so wrong. I almost guarantee you that this ride will stall at some point 
because of how the guests are distributed. If the guests only sit in the back, I believe this one has a good chance of stalling. But we'll see what happens. We want a crash though. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Crashes won't happen because there's only one train. But I do like this ride. Can you add a second train? No, because if I make the train any shorter to make room for a second one, that uh, it won't make it. <laughs> so that's not going to happen. There's nothing in the code about coaster speed correlating with temperature. No. The only thing is that if it rains, it has a larger chance to break down. Uh, hang on, do we... We could use an invert. Okay, you know what? Let's use a hard line. It's not entirely gravity, but... It's the... The switchback pieces, or the, what they're called. The transfer pieces. Not exactly powered by gravity, but... You know... You need them anyway. So if we just do this... Yes, I voluntarily used the heart line. No, I promise I'm not sick. Or, yes, I promise I'm not sick. And a heart line roll. And a lower transfer. There we go. The perfect coaster for this challenge. Which already means that this challenge is actually easy if you just, you know, if you just use hard lines. I should sell umbrellas in the rain. Oh, whoops. I wanted to scroll, but accidentally clicked on that. There we go. You know what? Let's turn this on. Why do I have that off anyway? That thing. Now we can see them spend their 20 bucks. Well, the ones that are rich enough to afford it anyway. Why not just make the transfers... Up to build height, one roll, and the transfers back down. Because there is such a thing as having not enough money. Drowning gas 69, not gonna happen, mate. 69 was never in the park. 169 might be. Okay, let's uh, do no minimum, well, minimum waiting time of 5. 169 is also not in the park. 269 is also not in the park. 369 is not yet in the park. I'm surprised they even buy it given that high price. You mean the Highline coaster? It's not that expensive. Wait for 369. Yeah, right on that. We're almost there. I think. Hang on, I wonder what is currently... So we have this coaster, which has normal stats. This coaster, which is new, has normal stats. And let's say 15 plus 15 is 30. This one another 10, so that's 45. Yeah, we're almost at 50. Well, this one doesn't have the stats yet. So we're almost at being able to charge 50 bucks for the entrance. There we go, 360 dead. Bye bye. You will die very quickly. Hi hi. Can you put the new music? Wait, we have new music? I know we have some new music, but. Do we have more new music? Fantasy, gentle, horror, ice. 
This is stuff that was already in the game. I don't see anything new here. I have this one. Which I quite like. That's a custom one. You say I need to do it in the settings. Well, let's uh, have a little look. It's not in here. Oh, there's a... Uh, it only shows up in multiplayer, of course. I don't see it. Oh, it's object selection. Let's have a little look then. Well, oh, custom. Our open RC2 official. Asset style, or as one of my friends used to say when we were like 14, a kid style. Or a kid spray, as the Pokemon move, acid spray. Galaxy style and Dodgem's Beats 2. Let's have a look. Listen. Um, let's turn up the music. Okay, so that's a sort of techno-like music style. Galaxy. Yeah, that one's a bit boring. What's the other one? Dodge too. I've heard that one before. Yeah, that's not that exciting either. Alright, let's go back to rock style. Which it had. Okay, I... Thing. This was the volume it was at. Let me know if it's off. If it's too loud or too soft, the game volume. Anyway. Park's doing not bad. Let's go full funding. Why do we have water rides? Or is it because they classified the dinghy slide as a coaster in the original game, so you get it? Uh, it's something like that. Anyway, yeah, well, you know what, well, I'm curious what we see with water, right? What we get. Because um, I'm allowed to build water rides, you know? Let's see, what can we do? We can't build a wild mouse. Wild mice don't work. Well, they do, actually. You know, I can very easily build a wild mice coaster. The problem is that the only thing you can do is be flat. You can't go up or down, because it won't make it. <laughs> so this is the most exciting wild mouse coaster you've ever seen. Chain lift of 9 doesn't matter. We don't have a chain lift. We don't do that here. Not C sharp. No, it's always flat. Change this. You know, it's got to be exciting colors. Because this is the best wild mouse you've ever seen. In your amazingly fascinating lives. you got to write it in, man. Health and safety will be on your ass. We don't do health and safety in the Netherlands. We just wing it and... You know, we just hope for the best. Ooh, a Giga Coaster. Okay, I'm gonna 
Well, that's stupid. Now, you know what? I'm going to try it with a slightly cheaper coaster design. How about we use a looping coaster for this? Would you ever do in considering doing a park where every track ride has to fill every stat penalty? Perhaps. It's not a bad idea. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is we're going to start it up. Um, I don't know if this will work, but we can try. How high up is this? Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we start with going up one. And then we go down steeply. And then we go up. Back to 13 and a half. Then we go down steeply again. Well, you know the drill. Then we go up again. But we can't use steep hills to go up. Now, if this works, I'll explain why. It doesn't work. Well, it would work because steep hills are like the corkscrews. Or maybe you need to go up steep hills. No, you need to go down. Maybe we need to go down more for the bigger effect. Let's try 19 and a half. And then these turns are fine. But of course, you do lose some extra... Okay, so what if, because we have a little bit more speed. Does this work? And then we need one more. And then there, that way. Ooh, this, does it work? No, this fails. On every angle. But, we can just turn this into... A coaster like this. And then a photo section. There we go. That's a fun coaster. And this one has two trains. So it can crash. <laughs> if you go on vacation. Do you prefer staying in a camping, hotel, hostel, rented apartment or house? A tent in the wild. I must say I've gotten a bit used to hotels, but hikes are nice too. Backward launching? That's not using gravity. So that's not allowed. And, well, that lines up perfectly. But that was on purpose. I knew that. Oh, yes, the vertical drop coaster. We can use that. I'm going to use that so bad. Okay, soft cast cap increase to 560. That's plenty high. So, how are we going to use the vertical drop coaster? Well, uh, we need one higher than that. So, 19 and a half. This, is, this park is just one massive exercise for all the guests that need to walk up the queue lines. So, why did I do 19 and a half? Well, it's fine. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. Does this even already make it? If this makes it, then it's proved that it works. It don't. I think we need to go up to higher. Like that. 
to have enough starting momentum to gain the speed. My knees are quivering looking at these cues. Well, for people who aren't that um, good on their feet, we do have other options. You can just go away. <laughs> it won't make this, won't it? Well, maybe it will. Let's see. Yes, it will! Haha, <laughs> we're gaining speed, baby! Oh, this is nice. Wait a minute, how did... Oh, we are going down one unit every time. How did that happen? Oh, I went up like that there. Oh, never mind. I don't know if we're gaining speed. Actually. Well, let's see if we are. If it makes this, I mean, it makes it. It's not the end of the world, but... Does it make the next one? That's the question. It does, but that's just because it's lower. Hang on, now we're at 24. I'm doing something wrong here. Oh, it's because I forget. I need to do it like this. And then like that. That's the proper way to do it. Question is, would it make it? It does make it. So, I have a feeling we're breaking even, roughly. In terms of speed. So, I don't know if that's good. But, it is. <laughs> so, will it... Make this back. Because then that would be a fun coaster. Come on. No, it won't. It won't make it back. Now, hang on. Let me try something. Um, what if we just go further down? You know. And do that. And then go to 22 and a half. Does it make that? Let's see. It does, and it gains extra speed. Nice. Okay, I need to reroute this bit of path. Because now... We can go higher, baby. Look at this. Easy. Best ride in the world. Look at that. This has been highly educational. It is definitely something that's not very applicable in life in general, though. But. You do learn something about Roller Coaster Tycoon. About how to abuse uh, the glitches that come with the game. I suppose. 
<laughs> it's very useful. Also, how to build paths through loops, I suppose. Also, thank you for the three months, the Fetter Hobbit. Build lifts for the queue line, please. Nah, you never skip leg day in my parks. Honestly, I love this part. This looks so cool. It's a symmetrical uh, look. Path through loops looks so cursed. From this angle, it does. From this angle, it looks fine. Well, okay, that doesn't. <laughs> that looked very wrong. <laughs> yeah, these guests are the absolute strongest. They just keep walking their full speed up the stairs. And there are a lot of stairs. Yeah, this is absolutely fitness garden. Hey, what's up, Tactasties? Welcome. What are your zoom settings? Open GL in the in the, the in, in the most recent version. I mean, I say most recent. It's been in the game for a few years. But if you use Open GL drawing engine, you can zoom in one, two more times, and that goes from all the way out to all the way in. Greetings from Germany. Greetings to back to Germany. What about a coaster that starts up high? Does a full thing? Then there's a station downstairs and then one train never goes back. And train just never goes back. I mean, that works. But it's a bit micro-intensive. Someone said do a junior. I can do a junior. I can try. Um, where's some good space? This'll do. Nice thing about the Junior is that it has very lax stat requirements. Just one turn, I believe, is already enough. Which is very nice. I think the train will be long enough to make that. Let's see if I'm right. Would water coasters be possible? No. I am right. Just water coasters have a one car long train and they have uh, you know they can't do anything with that. You need because they can't go steep, they lose a lot of speed very quickly due to friction, which screws them over very terribly. So you need heavy trains or long trains. Ideally both. Because the vertical drop trains are short, but they're heavy. Yeah, the wild mouse also won't work. I mean, just like the wild mouse, you can build a water coaster. You know, have it go flat. But that's not particularly exciting, is it? I always like this dark blue and uh, white. Works well on a junior. Just some some dark color, or well, some color and white works very well in juniors in general. It's a good color combination. Just like on these, you know, bigger coaster types, especially B and M track variants, black on the inside with a bright outside works well. Let's make this pink. A pink heart line. Why not? Dark blue and white is a color I based one of my parks on a, a few years ago. I might have seen that. I've seen some park that had some... Something like that. I don't know if it was yours. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Ugh. Ugh? Ugh? Ooh. Uh. Ah. Hey. Let's have a little bit of water. As ordered 
by Mr. Slime. And of course, Drown Guest 420. Will there ever be a stream where no one tries to drown either Guest 69 or Guest 420 or anything with that in the number? Oh, they're on for Tickle Drop Coaster 1. Let's see how it does with guests. So it was like 16 at the top there. 11 at the top here. 11 at the top here. 11. Yeah, so that's just, just a stable position. But then here it suddenly has 24. And here it has 30. It's magnificent. Uh, why exactly is 420 associated with weed? It's... I don't get it. And they're gone. You know what? Let's save that. Gravity Gardens by Gravity. Old Coplingo, Chemistry, Bob Marty. It's... We already have three different answers. <laughs> because of a friend's club, they met at 420 every day to smoke weed. <laughs> we have a... <laughs> we have a lot of different answers. April 20th is World Cannabis Day, therefore 420. I'm pretty sure that happened the other way around. 420 was the wheat number, so they made April 20th the cannabis day. Okay, which one shall we do? I want a mini sus. It's gonna be a terrible mini sus, but I still want one. The most credible story traces back to 420, traces 420 to Marin County, California in 1971. Five students would meet at 4.20 p.m. to smoke weed. Alright. So it's probably that then. This is gonna be the best mini sus you ever seen. There we go. <laughs> Isn't that low valley? Oh, of course we need... Hang on. This needs to be on the other side. Because we need a long queue line for this. It's gonna be popular. There we go. Come like that. And we have a coaster. <laughs> Guests are getting lost or stuck. Not my fault. I didn't... I haven't built any path yet apart from exit and entry lines. It's not my fault that guests are wandering about in the forests in the middle of bloody nowhere. See, there they are. This is a lovely decoration now. I must say, I never knew this was here actually. And this coaster is still fine. I wonder how much uh, how much easier it reaches the end with a few guests. We'll probably depart any time now. There we go. Let's see how it does. There's the loop. And oh, it's about the same difficulty. Maybe slightly easier. Has this one had any guests yet? Yes! 14! It doesn't have a queue line, which makes entering it slightly more difficult. How far along are we on the park value front? 220k! Doing not bad. Definitely not bad. You should add some trees to make it even more popular. You know what? This is almost as bad as some of the jokes I make. 
me and a certain friend, we make so many terrible puns. Do we have any poplar trees, by the way? Like, for example, it's a Dutch pun, but... Um, we were talking about GeoGuessr. Oh, we do have poplars. Nice. We were talking about GeoGuessr, and he said that he doesn't know Haarlem, the city of Haarlem, very well. So I said, you know, it's no wonder, because you're not a woman. If it was called Hemlem, you would know it. And that's funny, because Haar is the Dutch word for her, and Hem is the Dutch word for him. That's the level of puns I'm working with. We need handyman, by the way. Bad joke, that's the point. In a moment it was funny. What are the killer stats on the mini -sets? You don't need to explain it. Well, I suppose most English people wouldn't get it otherwise. It's not funny tested yet. It takes forever. Because as soon as they bump, they reach the minimum speed. There we go. 0 0.5, 0 0.41, 0 0.39. And fire all the staff. Well, that's fine, because we've already killed all the puke. Do we have any of these? No, we don't. Ik schaak graag met nonnen, maar wist je dat ik nog liever met monniken dan? That, that's a nice one. That's one we could make if uh, monniken dan would ever come up. Monogadam is nice, because whenever you're close to it, it's easy to get where you roughly are. Okay, what coaster shall we build? How about an invert? Oh, we're actually getting rich. We were at 30k at some point. But I'm not building coasters very fast, and I'm not building massive coasters. AKA, I'm spending responsibly. Unlike me in real life. That's not true. I don't make that much money via YouTube. But I still save quite a lot. Because I just don't spend a lot. Okay, let's go down. And do the trick. Not like that. Changing the color the instant he noticed. Yep. And that that wasn't, by the way, to spite you or whatever, you know, to, or to do the funny joke. That was just because I hate the color. <laughs> I mean, the fact that I hate Sam and Pig, it's not just a joke. I have played Parkitect Project Dunrick, but that was a while ago, so... I may need to try it again to get a more accurate picture, but I don't really want to. You know, Roller Coaster Tycoon is fine for now. Okay, let's put in another one to gain some extra speed. Uh, no, crap. There we go. Actually, we don't... Yeah, we do need a corkscrew, but... We don't... Because we can just immediately do this and another corkscrew. And then do another small half loop. Do another corkscrew. And do another twist. Well, not like that. Um... Like that. No, that won't work. How about we just do that? And then another twist. Into another corkscrew. All the way. Into another corkscrew. Now we'll have gained a surprising amount of speed. Oh, crap. It's in the way. And 
then let's see if it makes this. Oh, easily, of course, because that's lower than what we started at. How about we tried this? It won't make that, will it? No. Well, let's see if it does. It's not far off. Of course, you don't gain speed very quickly with these corkscrews. And you also lose speed again over time. But it sort of does work. Mine train cars with engines are um, ineligible for this park. I mean, I probably would say so, yeah. I might build one, but... You know, this is just a fun stream. It's not like we're doing a proper challenge or anything. So, if I want to build something, then I'll build it. The rules are mostly just a... a, 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 a Wow, I can't speak. A suggestion to have fun. And there we go. We're back. Easily. Now, I hope this one won't be too intense. But if it is, and no one will ride it, what do I care? <laughs> this is Gravity Gardens. They pay for the entrance, and then they can just F off again. And that's a connection. Name the Minnesota's a bumpy ride. That's true if you access its fourth dimension. And that way. All right. Techno style. Last week I started rewatching. Um, ooh, perfect amount of intensity. Nine point nine two. I started rewatching Avatar: The Last Airbender again because it's really good, and it still is. I urge you all to do the same. How many inversions does this have? Six. That's not that bad. It looks it looks kind of cool. Hey, thank you for the follow, new popcorn too. Okay, let's hire some handyman. Yeah, we have quite a few pukies, but it's not too bad. There we go. 15 should be enough to clean everything up nicely. Let's just, you know, put one there. Iroh, best character. Iroh is the best character, followed by Zuko. Another streamer I was watching earlier was talking about Avatar. I mean, yeah, there's always a good reason to talk about Avatar. It's a damn good show. Okay, so once I have more monies... What's my soft guest cap? 865. Okay, once I have more monies, I want to build a bigger coaster. Okay, I, w I just... No, that won't... Ooh, hang on. If I do this... Maybe I can do something interesting with this. Not... I won't make all the stat requirements, but I think I can make it more interesting than just, you know, flat. Let's try. That's immediately the wrong position. And then we'll do this. Will it make this? That's the question. Oh, well, not with these. I wanted these. 
Thank you for all around oak. Marcel went an hour without building stalls. Oh yeah, I'm not I'm not building any stalls. That's a conscious decision. Because I want the guests to go away. I actually have one stall. I have an information kiosk near the start uh, of the park. Hey, it makes it. Nice. Near the entrance of the park, which sells umbrellas. Very expensively. Stalls don't use gravity. Well, they're also not powered, so... It's fine. I mean, technically, this one doesn't use gravity, too. Because it doesn't go up or down. This is powered by the station brake slash launch system, which launches it at 6 kilometers per hour. There is no movie in Basing Say Cringe. Okay. Time for another small coaster. Let's see if we can do the same. With the Hoppa. I don't think the Hoppa will be able to do the same, but let's try it anyway. Because I quite like the Hoppa coaster. Of course, you do start with this base speed of 6 kilometers per hour. That's what I said. I don't see you having said it. Balloons are anti-gravity. That's very true. No, that's not true, actually. Balloons still use gravity. But kind of in an inverse way. You know why? Because balloons go up. You know, normal things go down because... Gravity pulls them down harder than it pulls down um, air. It doesn't actually work like that, but you know, it's close enough. And um, balloons are lighter than air, so gravity pulls down the air quicker than... Uh, pulls down the bal uh, the air more than the balloon, so the balloon goes up. Okay, will it make this? Nope. Ah, you know what? It's a nice decoration. I'll keep it. There we go. Ooh, this coaster is this train's gonna make it back, folks. Eventually, this will make it back. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make it wait for full load. Guests don't really go on rides that don't have... Hang on, I gotta change it, otherwise no one will ever go on it. I'm gonna make them walk into it. Like that. Guests usually don't really go on rides that don't have stats, but... Maybe eventually they might. Hey, it has made it back. <laughs> Car 3 is the first one to make it back, weirdly enough. Which means it has got no test results? Because only car 1... Hang on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that duck flying sideways? I didn't know they could do that. That's interesting. Or is it flying down? Oh, it was flying down. I, I was almost happy with it flying sideways. <laughs> it just had to ruin it for me, didn't it? But it's just, oh, I'm just flying down. No, you're flying sideways. That's way more interesting. What happens when the balloons pop? We don't say it like that. Over here we say the balloon soda. Let's build more of these. Because I do want to get them money if it rains. Let's 
We still don't have a very high park rating. Do we have a water ride yet? No, we don't. Well, we're gonna get a water ride at some point, otherwise we wouldn't be able to research this. We are at 264k park value. It's not going very fast. But that's alright. We can always cheese it at the end if we want to. Okay, how are we doing with the soft gas cap? It's a thousand and fifty. So yeah, the reason we're not getting a lot of guests or not earning a lot of money is I don't know why actually. Park rating is fine. Maybe it'll because you know it's already the 18th of March and we've only gotten three thousand. I could of course advertise, but that's a bit boring. Do you have mazes? No, I don't. I have zero flat rides or thrill rides or water rides or transport rides. Drown some guests so they can be replaced by new guests. That's not how the game works. But that will drown a guest. Guest 763. Oh, look at that. There are actually guests here now. And yeah, they're uh, stuck forever. But it's a nice entertainment piece. You know what the nice thing is about an well, entertainment piece, like an um, art piece? About this inverted hairpin coaster as an art piece? It's that it's it's a kinetic sculpture. Kinetic sculptures are ones that change with time. This one changes with time because over the next few years, the bodies of these guests will decompose and eventually become skeletons. And then their bones will fall out of the cart into uh, in, into the water. Because skeletons don't sit upright like you're used to seeing skeletons. They're not connected with anything. Now you need a Mr. Bones statue. I don't have it available. But I can do bones. Which uh, works totally fine. Well, that makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> a lot better about what? About not being stuck on a coaster? Yeah, that's some good water. Alright, let's see. Do we get? Do we do any better? 5,100? I wonder, why was it so good in September? Did we get an award? No, we didn't. What was so good in September? Why did we almost make almost 9k? But like I said, the park rating is good. Um, yeah, you see, 934. A little bit of litter, but... So I don't understand what was so much better about it. Also, someone is using a hammer to slam on a nail or something. I don't know if you heard that. There was a little bit of banging. And not the good kind of banging. Okay, this is a heavier kind of cart. Maybe this one will make it. Let's see if it will. And down. No, whoops. And down. Up. Alright, let's have a look see. Bit late to hang a picture. But it's nine, that's not that late. Hey, it makes it, because it's a it's a bigger train. Sweeties. Okay, yeah, this doesn't work like that. There we go. Now it's connected. Been watching way much way too much of your stuff not to resub. Well, let's see then. 
All right, let's open it up. It's still terrible. Ah, thank you, Kaga Bear, for the five months. Here it is, keeping me in suspense. I quite like all these jumping fountains. It's terrible, this whole plaza for gas navigation and whatnot, but it looks cool. Guests are getting lost or stuck. Like I said, not my damn problem. There's a lot of puke here, but not enough to impact the park rating, so um, I don't care. We have 34k now. You know what? I want to build expensive coasters, so I'm going to advertise. Um, advertise campaign for the park. For a particular ride. You know what? I'll advertise the mini sus. Um, what was it called? A bumpy ride. Um... No, not free entry to the park. That don't make me any money. Half entry. Free food or drink. Oh, hang on. I need actually a food stall for that. No problem. You will never be able to access this. Ta-da! Now we will be making tons of money. In the meantime, let's build a few uh, still slightly less expensive coasters before I do the fun, expensive stuff. I finally built a footstall, but guests can't reach it. Okay, limb coaster doesn't have access to half. No, it does have access to half loot. But I can't use it, because it can only do launched mode. Which doesn't count. Well, you know what? It can count if I do it right. Let's build it... Uh, let's build it far away. Why not? So. We just do this. And... Breaks. Just like that. All right, we need to go down with the corkscrew. So, inline twist, half corkscrew. Inline twist, half corkscrew. And then, we need to go up. Well, you know what, let's go up by small half loop. And half corkscrew. Inline twist, half, no, not large half loop. You dumbass. Half corkscrew. There we go. Let's change this hill. Now, with this tool, you dumbass. There we go. Looks wonderful. And then... Can we just immediately make it higher up than this? Because this is already higher up than the previous one. Yeah, that works fine. And then another inline twist. And half corkscrew. You know what? I think we might be able to make a medium loop. Um, will we? No, definitely not. Right? Or will we? Let's see. Oh, easily. That's one of the new elements, folks. And let's showcase another one. That is a large half loop. A large half corkscrew. Look at that. And let's head back to the station. Isn't that wonderful? Now, this one might be a little bit too intense. But I don't care. It looks cool, doesn't it? Okay, let's properly test it. 
it only goes four kilometers per hour here. And then we're gaining some speed via one, two, three, four, five, six inversions. Oh crap, this one's gonna be way too intense. Oh, I think you were to follow up Rhino Flute. And then the corkscrew. Now keep in mind, we start at 13 and a half and this top is at 16 and a half meters. So we definitely gain some speed. But yeah, this one will probably be too intense with its eight inversions and also nine drops. But you know, here's hoping to like a 9.9, 10.39. Okay, some guests will still ride that. It's fine. It's not too bad. I mean, if they can find it, it's kind of out of the way, slightly. <laughs> a power launch and immediate stop would kill a man. Nah. It's not that fast. It's only launched at like... <laughs> Hang on, what if we just launch it quicker? Does that still stop in time? Nope, it don't. Okay, let's just take, pick the slowest launch possible. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's complete the test again. There we go. Open. Still no award. I suppose we don't qualify for many. This was quite expensive, so we didn't really make money during this time. But crap, did we make a lot of... Uh, we, we at least made a lot of money, but we also spent a lot of money. But yeah, we suddenly went to 13k. And it's going to be probably slightly higher in May still. Ooh, and we're going to sell Umbrellas. Let's put a cash machine opposite it. So that they can immediately get money to buy an Umbrella. Can you name a random guest to see what can I kill it? Only if Cody is here. Um, let's do the... I can't really do a mine train coaster. That won't work. Let's build a very simple mini coaster. Has to be like this. Otherwise, it won't walk. And then... You can do it like this. There we go. Isn't that neat? <laughs> it, it's a terrible ride. Absolutely bloody terrible. Awful. Almost as awful as your mum. kiddie coaster this is not a kiddie coaster this is like not even a coaster really <laughs> looks like a flat cover roll. yeah kinda but this is just it is just terrible have you seen this video that people were killing Cody no I haven't It's a car ride. Yeah, basically. This is basically just a car ride. Except it slows down over time. And it has a fancy theme and a fancy track. I wonder, does this park have that coaster that gains momentum but never really stops? What do you mean? It has a lot of coaster types. Do you mean the mine train or, or the mine ride? Which we don't have, by the way. Okay, let's go for what I wanted to do. Let's uh, start it right here. <laughs> this is going to be one for the for the people who don't skip lag day. Here we're going to properly gain some speed. Okay, so that's a 40 meter. This is 45. It can't make that. Can it? No. No, we need to go one lower. Yep. 
Yeah, he'll make that. And... That's only a 39. Okay, this is the 45. Will it make this? No, it won't yet. No problema. Okay. And we're back to the 42. And here it should gain some more proper speed. Yeah. Oh, it will easily make that. Look at that. It will make that still. And then that. And then we'll go all the way down there. Now look at high, how high up it can go. This is 48. And it's already gained a lot of speed. We started at 40.5. Look at how much speed we've already gained. How much height. We've gained 7.5 meters. Just by abusing the physics engine. It's very expensive though. Will it make that though? I don't think it'll make that. But let's see. No, not quite. And then look at this way. And then would it make No, definitely won't make that to fifty seven. Are you insane? But it will make that. And we go up again. This is a very slow way of gaining proper speed. But it is worth it. Well, is it? I don't know. I don't think so, actually. But whatever. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, it just about doesn't make that. But it will make this. Which means we've gained more than 12 meters in height. And now we can do this. Actually, we can also just do that. Just to gain a little bit of extra speed still. And let's do a vertical loop. Hell yeah. And another one. How is it today with cheats? I have used one cheat. Which was to give myself access to three more music styles to listen to them. Because they were the new ones. Which I don't really count. Okay. And let's return to the station. Otherwise, uh, we are going to be, uh, you know, what they call in the business bankrupt. All right. Let's test it properly. And of course there's something in the way. Ah, that's better. Ah, nice. And... Perfect. <laughs> if you go on this ride, you will end up in a quite different bit of the park as you started. <laughs> Black and red for this coaster. Alright. Ooh, that's very red. And I'll do this for the trains. And there we go. It makes it back perfectly fine. 
and that's how you do coasters without uh, you know without any gravity without chain lifts or launches or boosters that Cody video I might watch that later the exit path is a right in itself well for some reason the guests are walking up it they just want free exercise <laughs> They're not very smart, are they? Okay, this is 6.61 positive Gs, which is a lot. That's uh, where the 9.84 intensity uh, comes from. You could turn it into a giant slide. Or just, you know, a trampoline jump, just without the trampoline at the bottom. <laughs> I'm more worried about the way that the exit itself is supported. <laughs> just hanging above the coaster. Just building all these supports just for nothing. <laughs> just looking at leg day would make me feel sick. Oh, that's the perfect name for this ride. Leg day. Where do you buy this game? Steam. And then get OpenRST2 from the OpenRST2 website. Or good old games. Or probably eBay if you want the physical disc. Ooh, let's build a steeplechase. Or a sub derby racer whatever thing imaging. Once again, we are limited to flat pieces. Which means I will build this magnificent ride. Feast on my magnificence. There we go. Absolutely brilliant. There is nothing in the world more brilliant than me. This is just perfect. American Rally. Yeah, but still more interesting than American Rallies. Is this a leafy lake map? Nope. Or do you mean just the map itself? That might be true. Nah, the lake is different shape. This is not uh, not reused from leafy lake. This coaster is called My Magnificence. I could call it that. My... Oh, I can spell. Magnificence. Sense. Something like that. It's close enough. Let's hire some more handymen. Behold! My magnificence! Isn't that like a Jeremy Clarkson quote or something? He might have said it in Top Gear. I spy a valid inverted wild mouse. Yes. It will stay valid forever. Certainly sounds like Clarkson. Yeah, he always goes on about uh, his genius. And the massive size of his genius. I do quite like to see Clarkson's genius though. It's very sexy. Now, but Clarkson is absolutely fantastic on top here, of course. As are the other two. Hammond and May. Okay, will it make this? I don't think the train is quite long enough. Hammond, you idiot! <laughs> That's just fantastic. Actually, it might make this. Um, now you might be thinking, Marcel, what kind of... Well, what are you smoking that you think it might make this, but... Just wait, just wait. It might not work, but it might also work. I want to see. 
I want to see. Okay, will this work? That's the question. Okay, so first this will depart and it won't make it. And then this will... No, this can't... I thought maybe this one would be able to push it along. But that doesn't quite work. Okay, now that we've advertised once and spent that on right, we need to keep advertising, otherwise we're screwed. So... There we go. Okay, let's uh, fix this. It might be able to make that. Let's see. No, still nothing. And the other one is also not able to push it out. Well, in that case, we're just going to make it one less tall. Easy as that. I don't think it will make this, though. It will make the first bit, but probably not the end bit. Oh, it will. Easy. Very easy. Okay. No, that way. There we go. Entrance line. Yeah, pay for entry doesn't make you as much money, but at the start it can be actually much better than paper right. And paper right you need to micromanage a lot. Of course, on stream I use the, the price manager often, in which case you don't need to micromanage. The park of unfulfilled stat requirements. Yeah. Well, this one does fulfill them all, actually. It just doesn't have very high stats. But look at that ratio, though. 5.48 to 3.20 to 1.65. Those are ridiculous stats. Those are, like, great stats for a flat ride. Except this one has a much higher throughput. And you can charge more for it. It's basically the perfect flat ride, this uh, coaster. Hello, Duvel. Welcome to my park. To the park without any chain lifts. Well, except this one, which was already there. <laughs> With this coaster as... Well, it's not exactly a centerpiece, but biggest ride. Absolutely wonderful. It's already had more than 400 guests and... 270 love it despite the absolute massive climb to the top yeah those guests are hella strong it's absolutely ridiculous you know what let's make it do a horror style because you will feel horror in your legs after it's finished Okay, so what are we at? 333,000. That's not bad. I thought we only make 10k in July. The ads were still in full force. How did that happen? There's some weird stuff going on here. Either that or I'm just stupid. Either of the two. <laughs> Or both. Who knows? I'm not known for being particularly intelligent. Okay, what ride shall I build next? Apparently, I shall ride... I shall build the ride... Where I drink water. That's a six. What do you mean with a six? Call this one the Pink Panther. I've never watched the Pink Panther.
Righty. Um, what coaster? How about a wooden coaster? Oh, on the live stream, I've definitely been with less money too. There are times I've been in severe debt. Just like my gambling debt in real life. Did you know I have severe gambling debt and I'm constantly in fear of being kicked out because I am half a year behind on rent? It's not true. But how crazy would it be if it was? Okay, and we'll go that way. <laughs> very convincing. <laughs> just tell just thank you very calmly. Did you know I have severe gambling debt? Marcel said calmly. Then you get the movie adaptation. Did you know I have severe gambling debt? Marcel's life things have to pay off his gambling debt. You know, if I wanted to do that, I should just um put this money into making videos, because that's probably that's probably gets more per hour I put into it. Does that? Depends a bit on the live stream, I suppose. I would definitely stop streaming Stardew if, if, if I needed that. Now, I have never gambled any money in my life. I mean, it does depend a bit on what you count as gambling. I've definitely had, like, bets for a buck with a friend. So... Technically, that would count, I suppose. But, you know, you can't any kind of official gambling. I've never done that. Okay, will it make this? I'm not so sure. But it just might. Uh, well, that's a kablamo. Okay, it might not be unsalvageable because what if we, hang on, now we do on the right photo section, what if we do this, ha, now it makes it, this is because at this point, um, compared to a gentle hill, the, the center point of train, the center of gravity of the train is lower than it would be on a gentle hill. So it has still had to expend less energy in going up. Therefore, it makes it. That's actually, you know, an application of high school physics. It's not exactly real life this, but, you know, it's for Albi. And sort of for work for me. I think you're a bit food. Back from a brisk electric bike ride, bike ride with my fiance. How popular are electric bikes in the Netherlands? They're getting more popular, um, especially for mostly for elder people and young people. Um, elderly people for obvious reasons, but young people because they just I don't know want to get places quick or whatever, and they're hip, something like that. I don't know. I'm not hip. So, uh, yeah, I don't have one. Also, this ride is 7 meters too short. Hang on, let me change that. There we go. Now it should be fine. 371, perfect. Why are you fast forwarding so much while building? I was just fast forwarding the t the test because I didn't want to wait on it. I didn't fast forward anything else, did I? You know, electric bikes are kind of a problem for uh, delivery companies, not for the companies themselves, but the people on the bikes. 
are very frequently just going way too fast, which is unsafe. Which can result in, you know, crashes and the like. Okay, let's start off with not a large half loop. Wait, this doesn't have corkscrews? Well, that idea is out of the window then. My new folding electric bike only has pedal assist. My fiance has a throttle. My dad used to have an electric bike, but it only had... Well, it was pedalless. It didn't go entirely on its own, but... Um, it only went up to 25 kilometers per hour. If you wanted to go above 25 kilometers per hour, you had to do all the pedaling yourself. A.K.A. a normal bike. And I also biked on that when I biked it to my granddad. It was basically because my dad had passed away and we still had the bike. And my granddad was uh, losing a bit of his vitality. So he needed an electric bike. And we were like, well, we have one. Do you want it? The problem is it didn't fit on our bike rack on the back of the car. Because it was a bit bigger than a normal bike. So what did we do? I just cycled it there. It wasn't that far. It was uh, like 45, 46 kilometers. It was still fun to do. Took me about two and a half, three hours. Mostly because I had to stop a few times to uh, see where I was going. Because I didn't, I didn't really know the way. Because, surprise, surprise, I had never cycled that before. I only knew the way by car. Not that I had driven it, because I didn't have my driver's license yet, but, you know, we'd driven that. I had been in the car while it was driven so many times. And then after that, I cycled to my granddad and back on my normal bike twice. Just because I wanted to. That's a long way to cycle. 46 kilometers isn't that long. I used to do 16 kilometers to, you know, back uh, to school and back every day in that time. That's 32 a day. Then sure, 46 is long, but not that long. So I was doing absolutely fine. Uphill in the snow. Uphill in the Netherlands. That, that That's not going to happen. Forty-six isn't that much if you're the least bit fit. Yeah, it's not going to happen now for me. But back then, yeah, it was absolutely no problem. I have a bike to work 35 kilometers away. Surely not as a regular thing. Because that would just take forever. Because that would take at least one and a half hours. So that's a three hour daily commute. Oh, you think you're the fellow Smonic? Ooh, we have one of these. Let's build one. My mom um, biked 200 kilometers in a day once. When she did, uh, did the Elfstede tocht. Not on ice skates, but on a bike. Didn't have a vehicle at the time. I mean. 
Fair enough, but that's that's like not practical at all. My city is very hilling, so biking, even when there's infrastructure for it, is tough. Yeah, you know, the Netherlands is very flat and that does help a lot. But for whenever people use that as an argument for why there should be bike infrastructure in America, they always say, well, the Netherlands is flat, America isn't. You know how many cities in America are flat or basically flat? Plenty. You could easily build bike infrastructure there. Or when people say, we live far apart, so we can't have bike infrastructure in America, it's impractical. Well, you have massive cities. Build bike infrastructure there. You don't, you know, just because you build bike infrastructure in New York City, doesn't mean you need to build bike infrastructure in the middle of nowhere in Wyoming as well. Okay, now let's go like this. No, a corkscrew please, thank you. Most rides are short enough that hills don't matter. Uh, you mean, when I still went to uni, I cycled uh, 20, uh, it was about uh, 25 minutes by bike, but, well, 20 minutes, seven kilometers. Doing that with a lot of hills no, thank you. But then again, if it's very hilly, just use an electric bike. You know, that's what electric bikes are perfect for. There's a planned suburb of Atlanta which has a network of paths suitable for golf carts. Oh yeah, the Tom Scott video about it. I've seen it in other videos too. Thank you for the follow by the way, it's fluid white. But you know what the, the best thing is about the Netherlands, is that with our infrastructure... Ooh, this is slightly too intense. Yeah, it's fine. Is that, you know, a lot of the time it can be kind of convoluted to get places with cars, because either there's not a direct connection so you need to take a long way around, or um, there are one-way roads, you know, something like that, which is done on purpose. But with a bike, you can go basically anywhere. So either by bike or on foot, you will always have the shortest route. And that means that people will cycle and will footle. Or fetal, since you're using both feet. Okay, let's build a massive food court. Because I can. No, that way please. There we go. Perfect food court. An issue I hear a lot about is time management. People need to get everywhere in like five minutes, which is difficult with bike because things are so far apart. Yeah, but the problem there is that is American suburbs. It's not just the fact that there are no bike lanes. Because, you know, within ten minutes on my bike... Um, I can get um, to a shop. I can go to the city center with 
pretty much everything I need. I can get to basically pretty much everything I need within 10 minutes. Only some of the, you know, more specialized shops maybe not. Also, what mountain in Colorado is famous for bike races? I have no idea. I think the only mountain in Colorado I know the name of is Mount Evans. I think that's a mountain in Colorado. One of the Colorado 14ers. Which I know of if that's true thanks to the Tom Scott video. The nearest grocery store is 500 meters from me, but because of the fencing and suburban roads, it takes about 10 minutes to drive there. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I mean, even in the Netherlands, with its, you know, supposedly anti-driving infrastructure or whatever, that would never happen. And 500 meters would always mean you can get there, you know, well, basically in almost a straight line when you're walking. I think the car, the train will be long enough. Oh, we got these trains. Which are slightly less long. Yeah, that ain't gonna work, uh, my friend. Lol, look at that frozen in midair. Oh, is this gonna work? Uh... Is it bike speak? I've never heard of bike speak. Okay, no, this is not going to work either. Oh well, then we'll just keep it to two bits. That has to do. We. We. Oh my god, this is terrifying. <laughs> Um, I'll go up like that. Okay, that obviously won't work. And then, will this work? This is a t <laughs> this is a terrifying ride. I wish I had public transport. I'm lucky. I like walking as much as I do, but it still takes forty minutes to get to the grocery store. That's ridiculous. You know, there's a grocery store um, a few minutes away from my house by foot. There's another one about 15 minutes away. There's another one about 10 minutes away. And those are just the ones I know about. It's absolutely crazy if you need to walk 40 minutes for a grocery store. That should be illegal. Unless, you know, unless you live in the countryside, of course, but assuming you live in the city. Fire all the staff. Ah, it's been a while. Well, let's see how bad it gets, because we have a lot more guests now. Guests are complaining about the length of the queues. Well, then don't go into the queues. Four guests, 42. What do you mean? Just 42? Or am I missing something? Hey, Max, welcome. And uh, whoever you brought with you. Presumably Donzia. Shout out Max Arceus. I don't actually have a shout out command. I should probably add one. Although for Max it's not really necessary because people already know him. You know, if you want to see Max stream, go follow him. Oh, it did work. It was just slow. Oh, that's a Twitch thing, apparently. I didn't know that. And open, baby. The per this is classic for a suspended swing. 6.25, 6.85, 6.95. That's a pleasing pattern in it. 
But yeah, nausea is the highest, though, which is very typical. Okay. Ooh. I like purple. Now, but you know what the best thing is about the Netherlands and our anti-car infrastructure? Is that it makes driving so much better. You meant Drown 42. Oh, yeah, right. Which doesn't happen. 42 isn't in the park anymore. Um, driving is so much better here because there are fewer people on the road. You can still very easily drive here. Because it's not really that there's anti-car infrastructure, it's just, just that there's less pro-car infrastructure. Name a ride of your choice. Well, what do you want to name? Dutch Tractor Adventure Ride. Which one? This? I can name that. This. Dutch, uh, what was it? Tractor... Adventure right. There we go. I just got two follows but neither names I can find in the chat here. Huh. I think uh Cringe got a point there. Huh? That's me. Yeah, that's already more interesting. Closest to four twenty. Well that'll be four eight four. Uh, well, that's not gonna happen. They're stuck forever on this. <laughs> 684 then. Bye bye. And come on. They're very tired, so it takes a while for them to die. There we go. We still do have traffic jams here, by the way. You know, every morning there will be traffic jams near the Hague, Amsterdam, Rotterdam. Your daily uh, traffic jams. But not, not as bad as some places in America. Does this park have a requirement for amount of guests? No. I can do whatever I want, baby. I think we... Yeah, we're almost there. We just need 90k more. And we have a fair amount of money. I could build a big ride from this, probably. Okay, let's go for another vertical drop coaster. Because I like these. Oh, you know what? Let's go for a twister. The biggest reason that it's unlikely to change in the near future of the US is that... One of our two political parties is dominated by both the richest people living in the suburbs and the poorest people living in the rural areas, both of whom are largest support of car-based society out of necessity. Now, but you know, living in the suburbs, you don't need car-based society. Yeah, you need your car right now, obviously. You know, not trying to take away that, but wouldn't it be nice if you got a few stores in your suburb, which were like, I don't know, a five-minute or a ten-minute walk away? Or, heaven forbid, a bike ride. Oh, I need to start higher up, of course. And we'll go down and then do a barrel roll. Have you seen how far away heights are in some suburbs? Yes. That, that is a problem, that the suburbs are so incredibly not dense. You know, it's very popular to shit on America right now. As it's been for the past uh, number of years. And for good reasons. Often. Not always. But the Netherlands definitely isn't perfect. But one thing that is still far from perfect, but definitely better than a whole lot of other countries, including easily the US, is our infrastructure. Public transport, bike, pedestrian, even our car infrastructure. 
And yet I still consider it to be bad. Well, not bad. It's worsening. And that is bad. Because bus lines are closing. Um, trains are riding uh, less often, less frequently. That's bad. And you already need a car in a lot of places of the Netherlands. You know, not just bikes, aka okay, Jason, likes to make likes to make videos about how you don't need a car in in the Netherlands if you don't uh, drive to work or whatever. And sure, in a lot of places you don't. You know, you can use car share, something like that. Or, but in a lot of other places, you pretty much always need to drive to work because public transport isn't an option. Or it is technically an option, but takes a lot longer. And car share, <laughs> lol. <laughs> yeah, that won't happen in a lot of places. Trains are stupidly expensive. Yeah, that's also a thing. You know, going just by train is probably cheaper than going just by car. Because, you know, you can get uh, a subscription to, like, a certain um, track. Like, going just between Zwolle and Groningen or whatever. And if you do it every day, it's definitely cheaper. Um, because you can get good deals for that. But the problem is... If you um, if you hang on, I'm a bit lost for words. Yeah, if you use your car, because you know you have family in a small village that is 30 minutes away by car, but two hours by public transport. If you use your car for that, then the all all the costs. That come by just owning a car, you know, paying for it, um, stuff like that, you know, um, taxes, all that stuff. You already pay that anyway. So then it's a lot cheaper to go by car for trips. The other issue that fixing the US transportation infrastructure would require a national policy coordination and investment that is literally like the size of some major city metro areas in the US. But why? Why can't you just, you know, build a robust bike path and public transport city in just Chicago? Or, um, well, Oklahoma City might not be a good idea because I think that's fairly hilly. Public transport would still work there though. Because lobbying. Yeah, but... Okay, but that's the reason it doesn't happen. But it's still possible. Like, it's physically easily possible. Like, if you say because lobbying, yeah, that's because it... You know, that that's the issue that causes the problem. For someone like me who came well after the start of the stream, is the premise of the stream that all constructed roller coasters have no chain lifts or boosters? Or launches? Yes. I mean, technically, the limb coaster has a launch, but. Where is it? There it is. It got braked immediately after the launch, so, you know. It's got as good as no launch. And we're almost done, actually. 424k. And, you know, there are a whole lot of, you know, political structures in the USA and all kinds of things which makes it difficult. But if you ignore all that with, you know, the fact that people, you know, the fact that it's politically difficult. If you just ignore that, because it's, it's, it's politics is difficult, it's annoying. Then it's easy to build bike infrastructure. Just pick a city, build some bike paths, build some, you know, have a few more buses run. And people will already use it a lot more. Just because it's there. 
Oké, okay, let's build a tall vertical drop caster. We're going really tall this time. Wee! Oh, can't go that tall. Oh, we can go that. <laughs> okay, that's a bad idea. We need to go slightly less tall. Yeah, and we go up. Hang on. Is it true that I have no staff? Yeah, I never rehired staff, now did I? Oh, that, that will clean the park. Hopefully. And now let's fire them all again. Well, not all of them. Let's keep 30 of them around. There we go. Name the park. Alright. J Former said you also have to compel commuters out of their cars in addition to having bike infrastructure. Yes. Um, his example was Stevenage. And the problem with Stevenage was, for example, that the shop still had ample of car parking space. If you just move the car park, remove the car parking, or most of it, people will start using their bikes. Because they can't park their car nearby the shops. Okay, what name do you want? Gravity Coaster Gardens. Good name. Haha. <laughs> 69. Okay, would it make that? I live in Jacksonville. It's like the 30th largest city in the world by land area. Just going to a doctor's appointment requires me to drive 100 miles, even though it's in the same city. No, that's not the same. That's just some nonsense with um, technical city limits. That's not the same city. Jacksonville isn't 100 miles across. Because isn't there like, isn't there like some city in the in the U.S. like um, like Chongqing, I believe. That's like technically the largest city in the world, but its administrative area is like the size of Denmark. Make it pink, purple, and red. All right. That looks good. John King in America. Did I say that? I meant China. This is hella expensive. And then we go down and we go up again. You know what? Let's add a little twist to it. Literally. A 540 degrees twist. God, I'm going to be so broke soon. I believe Sitka is actually the answer you were looking for. Maybe. Could be. I don't know. But there was some city and that was just way too massive because of some administrative area nonsense. Oh, can we? No, we can't go into that. Can we? No. We need to go over it. And let, no. That won't work. Unfortunately. Okay, now we're gonna do that again. This is like, <laughs> this is a horrible ride. It looks horrible. It's kind of like a sawtooth wave, to be honest. Okay, like that. That that one's gonna be slightly painful because that's fast.
You know, m one of my favorite quotes that nicely illustrates um, how bicycle friendly the Netherlands is, is that there were some Americans who came to the city of Groningen, coincidentally, and they asked for a map of all the places you could get with a bike, because they wanted to bike and they wanted to see where they could get. They were laughed at and they were told you should not ask for that. You should ask for a map of the places you can't get uh, or the places you, can, you can't get by car because there are more of those. There are no places you can't get by bike. Wait a minute, how does it not make that? Oh, because that's 81 meters. Except maybe, you know, except maybe some gas stations on the highway or something. But you can go, I mean, there are a few roads in Groningen which you aren't allowed on if you ride a bike. Because they are bigger car roads. You know, the ring road. But the ring road itself isn't a destination. There are no destinations on the ring road. Except maybe like one or two um, gas stations somewhere. Okay, I need to do that like that. Don't they just have a very small road bike path next to it? They might. Maybe for, you know, for employees arriving by bike, probably. There we go. <laughs> a very ridiculous coaster. Which will give us a lot of park value, actually. I was riding my bike downtown in my city. Cars kept honking at me. This path is going to make me uh, go broke, by the way. Cars kept honking at me to get off the road. I finally gave one the bird, and it was a cop. He turned on his siren and told me to go to another road. I wasn't breaking the law. My city is very unfriendly to bikes. If even cops are doing it, that's absolutely ridiculous. Do you know the practice of rolling coal? That is that you modify your pickup, of course it's a pickup, it's always a pickup, so that it can, with some button that you can press in the cabin, it can expel a greater amount of coal and gases and whatnot, uh, so that you can activate that while you're driving past bikers, cyclists, to punish them. For being a cyclist. You know, I don't make those small penis jokes. You know, for people who like to do that. But there's got to be something very wrong with you. And if it's not the small penis, it's definitely the fragile ego. Oh yeah, helmets are also not a good thing to have on bikes. I would probably wear one if I have a bike in the US, but for general bike culture, you don't want helmets. And there are good reasons for that. Because um, if, if, if it's compulsory to wear a helmet, people are less likely to do it because it's a thing to lug around. It's annoying. But also, it makes it feel... Like helmets, like bike, bike, bicing, bicycling is unsafe. So people will be less cautious towards cyclists, people on bikes. You know, people in cars will be less cautious. That's a real thing. Because you know, to suggest you need a, you know, to suggest I would need a helmet while cycling, that would be like telling me I would need a helmet while walking. Which makes no sense.
So yeah, on an individual level, wearing a helmet while biking is safer. But on a societal level, if you have the kind of bike infrastructure you have in the Netherlands, it's probably less safe. And you know, I have fallen off my bike quite a few times, you know, when cycling to school. If you cycle two hours a day for 200 days a year, eventually you'll have some tumbles. Never ever have I fallen on my head. And I know, you know, I'm just one story. The plural of anecdote is not data. But I just don't see a reason for me to ever wear a bike helmet. And if you're old and you have um, stability problems, sure, wear one. It's a very good idea. Two hours a day. Yeah, I lived uh, 16 kilometers away from school. You must be kind of buffing your legs. Not anymore. It's kind of nice. Huh? Nice and calm here. Uh, let's reroute that. There we go. Little hill like this. Uh, you know what? We can put a photo section on top of that. And that'll make it back. Like that. That's a very stew-like ride. Stew, stew would definitely build this. Easy. And we'll connect this. Uh, is that connected? Yes, it is. Wonderful. And we'll go through the right. Oh, what did I just click on? Uh, never mind. Oh, crap. Uh, that way, that way, that way. Awesome. Next right. We still don't have a spinning wild mouth. Now, we can't do much with this. But, big beautiful behind. We might be able to do this with it. Yabba dabba 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 do. Yabba dabba. Yabba dabba dabba do. Let's see if it makes this. I never wear a bike helmet either, and I ride like 4,000, 5,000 kilometers a year. It's just not necessary. You know, it's probably a better idea to wear a bike helmet, to wear a helmet in your car. Are you going to TwitchCon this year? Nah. Never been, not interested. Ooh, that's an ugly color combination. That's better. We should be almost there. 481k. We're of course losing park value as well. Okay, so let's build a bit of a taller, right? Whee! Okay. And... That's not a good idea. Let's just keep it like that. Or like that. And two more down. Hi, thank you for the 12 months, WT Mike 24. Hey Marcel, just wanted to Marcel your videos and Marcel, Marcel the Marcel you show. And it's very Marcel after a Marcel day of work. Marcel you. And thank you for the sub, GS5563. It is appreciated.
And here we have a Giga Coaster. Ooh, thank you for the bits, Voodoo. In my USA state, you can pay extra for your car license plate for a decal that says you support bicyclists and the extra fee that goes towards supporting bike infrastructure. I mean, you could do the same by just donating to some kind of pro bicycle advocacy group and putting a sticker on your car yourself. Uh, yeah, that's a good thing. Also, speaking of the word cyclist, not just my, not just bikes uh, made a good video about this. I'm not a cyclist. You know, I ride my bike. I ride lots of places. Yeah, it's good exercise. It's a good way to get around. I'm not a cyclist. I don't like cycling particularly. I just use it because it's convenient. And the same goes for a lot of Dutch people. There are plenty of Dutch people who dislike cycling but still do it because it's convenient. You know, we still have cyclists here. We call them wielrenners, which me is translates to wheel runners. And they are disliked <laughs> on the bicycle paths. Whenever you see like a group of three or four wheel runners on the bicycle paths, they are disliked. So if there's one thing with America that we have in common, we all hate cyclists. It's just that our definition of cyclist doesn't include the commuters. Or the people going for a normal chill bike ride. It only includes the people, you know, clad in Lycra and they're actually wearing a helmet that go like 40 kilometers per hour on your neighborhood bicycle path. That is one peculiar giga coaster. Isn't it wonderful? Hi, 500,000. Oh crap, we also need to pay back the goddamn loan. I forgot. Whoops. Well, time to start fast forwarding. Because I need money. At this speed, it won't actually take very long. Now let's start saving up, actually. Because uh, I will need to uh, repurchase the ads. And of course, we will lose some park value in the, progress, in the process. That's fine, we'll just build a few more right uh, when we get there. Come on. And... There we go. Let's redo them all. And that one. And the last one. And then we can start paying back the loan some more. Hello, Majin. How you doing? Fire all the staff. Well, we're not going to speed up then. I might as well use this time to build a ride. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. Had a nice stream so far. And we've almost completed the park. Let's see what ride we shall build. We don't have a spiral coaster yet. By the way, it is actually possible to build a new ride. And with that to lower your park value. You know how? It's not difficult either. All you have to do is um, build a very high stats ride that gets like 100,000 park value. And then build a second tiny ride that gets like 10,000 park value. Because you now have 
do, uh, um, two right of the same type, they both lose 25%, which means you get 75 plus 7,500, which is only 82,500, instead of the um, 100,000 you started out with. So building more rights can be a bad idea. And that was an application of percentages in real life. I mean, this isn't, isn't really real life, but close enough. That's not how your taxes work, by the way. If you go up a scale, only the extra bits get taxed, not the previous bit as well. Apparently, lots of people do think that. Say you, were, say you earn 100k a year, and you pay, I don't know, 30% tax in total. And then, you know, above 100,000, you pay 40% tax. Now, people think that if you go to make 110,000 a year, you suddenly pay 40% over your entire 110,000. That's not true. You just pay that 40% over the 10,000 you make extra. So you won't lose your hard-earned money. We are losing a lot of guests. We gained a lot of guests and now we're losing them again. That's not true, he says from experience. Not really from experience, it's just... That's just how it works. That's a poor explained detail regarding taxation. Did you mean I'm explaining it poor? Or that is just in general in society explained poorly? Because obviously I skipped a lot of details. But that, you know basically that's how it works. What coaster to build? We have all the wild mouse variants. We had a mini coaster already, right? Yes, it's not very good. How about we do a proper coaster, a looping coaster? Oh, limb. We already have a limb. There we go. It's fairly large. Okay, in general, yeah. For some reason, I mean, people in my... I haven't seen people get it wrong in my... Um, you know, in, in my social bubble. But apparently lots of people in America get it wrong. In the Netherlands, maybe too, but I don't know. The reason I know people in America get it wrong is because Americans complain about it on Reddit. What would you do if a new viewer show up called Lu Ping? I would definitely make lots of jokes. Okay, let's do a loop. Uh, like that. And now let's hope we still have enough speed to get back to the station. Yeah, you get taxed more the more you earn. That's... It's a really easy assumption. And it's true. But it's true in a different way. A lot of those those kind of statements can be true in a billion different ways. Corkscrew. <laughs> I like that. I should start pronouncing the corkscrew coaster like that. Okay, will this make it back? I have doubts. My doubts were unfounded. Which is nice. And connect that. Var or Railroad. <laughs> my nickname in high school, or well, my nickname with two friends, which it still is, um, is Barrel. 
Don't ask how that came to be. Because I didn't know. Okay, let's hire staff and start paying back the loan. Okay, it's almost payday. So let's already start firing them again. There we go. I had them for a very short amount of time, but I'm pretty sure they did do some good stuff. How do you not know how you've got your nickname? Because we were like 12 at the time and just messing about with old names and eventually one stuck. You know, we have a friend uh, in the same group called Mike. And one of his nicknames at the time was like Monfloiko. Which makes no sense. But it happened. So we're almost there. And we have enough park value. I almost got the nickname Max2. Was there another Max in your class or friend group? There we go. We've made it. With a company value of 501,543. Hang on. Is that we had like more than that amount of money at the time. We have less than 500k park value. That must have been like exactly on the edge. Well, this is our park. Let me give you a sharper look at it. There we go. Isn't it wonderful? It's a bunch of very weird coaster coasters. You know, there were th at least three M Vosses at my school because I was M Vos three, um, which was my username to log in at high school. Favorite coaster that I've built here? I, th I think this vertical drop coaster. I also quite like the limb. Yeah, there was not a single chain lift in sight. Isn't it wonderful? Alright, that's, that's going to be it for me, for me today. I want to thank you very much for watching. And having some interesting discussions. So, uh, I have a very interesting video um, for you on, sun on uh, Thursday. It's a bit higher effort than the one last week. And an even more interesting video for the week after. I wanted to originally release that this Thursday, but the Speed Skating World Championships are the weekend after, and I don't, you know, I don't want that at the same time um, for reasons. So it's going to be post mobile week. Anyway, let's find someone to raid. Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. Let's... Ooh, Rollercar Tycoon with chat interaction. Oh, uh, actual interaction. Let's see then. Someone called Do Doc Berglove. Well, have fun interacting them uh, with him and his stream. Have a good time. Have a good night. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.